So here I've modeled a swimming pool so I can put some water in it using Arnold lights and materials. This pool was modeled with a rectangle and a sweep modifier using uh, that shape as the deck and the floor. And so I'm going to take this and make a clone of it. I can edit and clone or control V and that puts the same item right on top of itself. And this allows me to just uh, take away the modifiers from it. And I'll name it Pool Water. I'll adjust the width and height of it to match the outside edges of the pool as the sweep modifier changes that slightly. And then I'll change, there we go. Lower it a little bit so it's just below the surface of the, of the deck. A little bit wider. Okay, and I'm gonna add a garment maker modifier to it. This is a great modifier for an irregular mesh pattern which would be good for water. I can edit the density a little bit higher to allow for the waves of the water to, to um, flow across the surface of this. Okay, so basically I have this plane that has this irregular mesh on it and this will be a good surface for the water. All I need to do is, uh, before I add a, a material to it, I want to add an Arnold properties. This allows me to enable the displacement and use a map for that as well as uh, make the general make it not opaque. This will help in the material of the water also. Uh, normally you could also subdivide it but um, I like the garment maker mesh that it produces better so I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, that's about it for the uh, Arnold properties. Let's go to the material editor and I'm going to add a normal Arnold uh, material, standard surface material to the mesh. I'm going to pull up the active shade and I just have an Arnold light in the scene also with a sky dome so it's a little bit bright. I'll adjust the intensity and exposure. But now I have this white material <clears throat> um, on the on the water. Uh, so let's adjust some of the settings on this. Um, I'll zero out the base color. I'll increase the transmission to one, and so that just makes it transparent. Um, I could just use a bluish material. To adjust its um, color a little lighter blue and that gives a nice effect maybe a little bit closer to the color of the checkers so at least I can see the tint that it gives the, the bottom of the pool well I have no waves in it and that's where a an Arnold map would come in under the conversion rollout on the uh, Arnold maps there's a vector map so I want to use that, and I'm going to add that to the displacement. In the Arnold properties, I'll instance that. This uh, vector map allows um, to me to set the scale and use an image for the input. And I can use a photoshopped image of, of some waves or just some noise or any, any kind of... Um, customized kind of wave that I want. So that would be what I do next. I'm just going to map some Arnold maps and texture and image. And I can go back here and I have a couple environments. I have this chromed kind of map that I'll try. And I'll put it to the input of the vector map. And immediately well, I don't know about immediately, but you can see some change happen. So on the vector map, I can just change the scale up 
to increase the size of the waves. Let's try five. If I don't see much happening, I can change the scale. Um, the lower the number, the more tiles I'll get across it. So I'll try a half. So I can see some ripples coming across the water. Um, I won't see anything until I actually use the map and we'll see some of the distortion from the index of refraction, some refractal, refractive uh, ness coming through the map. Now in the standard material we can change the index of refraction to reflect water or refract water, pardon the pun, um, a little bit better. So. Now we can see some rippling and some motion across the surface of the pool, and that affects how you see the checkerboards at the bottom of the pool. That's pretty much um, in just adjusting the parameters of the image. Maybe at one now. Let's see, if it, you could try a different map as well. This looks pretty good. I kind of like that look, but some other maps that I've made. Here's an ocean looking one. Not that that would do well in a pool. I might need to change the scale down on that one. In the UNV directions and so we can change maps and give a different look for lots of different surfaces. There we go, filled up the pool in half the amount of time it would normally take.